Hey everyone, Michael from Xano here. Someone in the community recently asked me, how do I go about creating custom slugs? And how do I uh, make the slug so it is the name of the record and increment value if that name already exists? So just like everything in Xano, we can have the function stack do virtually anything we can imagine. So let's first go ahead and jump into this stuff database table, have something super basic, a name description. Let's go ahead and add a text field for our slug. Now, one other thing I wanna do here is I wanna make our slug be unique per record. So I wanna add a unique index. So I'm just gonna to go to indexes, hit create index, select unique, and then select our slug field. Okay, that will just enforce that no two slugs are the same. So let's go ahead and jump to an API endpoint. So we're gonna create slugs uh, for each record every time a record is created. Okay, so it makes pretty that makes sense. So let's just go ahead and jump to this API endpoint here. So this is just my CRUD create stuff and we're just going to manipulate it so it can accommodate the slug creation. So obviously we're not going to input the slug. We want this to be created automatically in the function stack. So I'm just gonna hide that. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is before we add any record, we're gonna add uh, some logic to this function stack. So first and foremost, we need to check if the name uh, of a record already exists, because that's going to tell us if we create a fresh slug from name in one, or if we need to do incremental value uh, after the name for the slug. So let's go ahead, we're gonna go to database requests. I'm gonna do a query all records here uh, from my stuff table. So from the same table, I'm gonna go ahead and do just a conditional here. I'm gonna say where uh, the name is equal to the input name. And I'm first gonna do that, but now I'm gonna jump to the output tab and I just wanna change my return from a list to a single object. And I'm gonna add a sort uh, by when the record was created at in descending order. So I wanna get, um, basically what I'm doing here is I'm looking for anything in my stuff table where the name matches my input. And if it finds something, it's just going to return the very uh, last one or the most recent one, right? So then if that exists, we can get the most recent slug number and add that incremental value. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and hit save here. That will be slug one. And now we'll go ahead and add conditional logic so we know if we need to put on an incremental value or not. So I'll do data manipulation, conditional. And here we can define our if then statement. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say if our first variable stuff one equals null. Okay, so if that's equal to null, then we can just go ahead and create our slug and start it at the first value, right? So. What I would do here is I would create a variable for that slug, and let's just call this slug. And as mentioned in the community, it would be name and then an incremental value. So let's go ahead and start with just one. I'm gonna add a filter here, and I'm just gonna do concatenation, and the value will be one. Uh, I won't do a separator, but maybe you wanna put a separator in there like a dash or something. Um, that's available, but this will just be basically uh, name and one. So let's go ahead and save that. So that will be slug. Uh, so what happens if we do find a record, okay? Now we need to implement uh, a little bit different logic here, okay? So the first thing is we actually need to go and find what value is at the end of that slug so we can inc increment it. So let's go ahead and create a new variable here. And I'm just gonna call this slug number and what we'll go ahead here and do is we'll go into that stuff one variable and we'll use dot notation um, to grab the slug field not the name field so we'll grab the slug field i'm going to add a filter here and i'm going to look for r tr or r trim and i actually meant uh l trim excuse me so trim white space or other characters from the left side and return the result. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to trim off the name so we can isolate that value, okay? And our input here, we can just do stuff.name. You could also do the name input right there. 
Let's go ahead and save that. And one more thing I want to do, because this slug is stored as a text field, I want to just uh, transform it now that we've isolated the number. And I'm going to say to integer. So this will just convert text to an integer so we can actually just apply some math to it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save. So that will just isolate the slug number on the existing value. Now I'll go to data manipulation in math. Let's just add a number. So the existing variable will be our slug number and we'll just add a value of one. Okay, so now we have the new incremental value and now we're ready to create our slug. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this from my then statement and drag this underneath. And here where I am concatenating the value of one, we can just go ahead and put the value as our slug number and hit save and save. And so here, when we finally go ahead and add a record, we can just, and it's already linked up here, make sure our slug field is mapped to our slug variable because it'll either come from the then part of our conditional or the else part. So let's go ahead and uh, run this a couple times. So let's just go ahead and I'll just say uh, baseball and description will be a game you play. And so you can see we get baseball one as the first slug. So let's run this again. And I'll even change the description because the name is important here. So um, we'll just put in some random characters, but this should turn into the slug of baseball two, right? So that would just keep going. And of course, if we put in something uh, new here, uh, I don't know, let's just say kitchen, place where you cook. Well, now we have kitchen one. And obviously, if we keep running that, we can see it goes up kitchen two, kitchen three, etc. So there you have it. Of course, your what you require for your slug might look a little bit different, but this should give you the basic framework of how to um, create a custom slug uh, and with the incremental value. Of course, you could do other things when creating slugs, like we have generate random number. Uh, if you want to put a random number after that, you could also, we have um, unique identifier. If you want to put a unique identifier for that, I believe it's, uh, I want to say 64 bit. Um, that's also just available here. I'll show you real quick. If you go to filters and you just type in, so we have U UUID and create UID. So 64 bit is the UID. And then we also have the unique uh, universal identifier as well. So if you wanted to attach that to your slug, this example was just for incremental value because I had this specific question in the community. Um, hope this video was helpful. If it was, please go ahead, like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel so other people can find it. Thank you for watching.